Hello Virgo and welcome to your June bonus reading. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Virgo, I'm really happy to be here this morning with you. I'm going to dive right in. Let's pick the card of the energy supporting you. What important message do we need to hear for Virgo? Okay, have these two cards wanting to come out. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, fabulous. Look at that. You have you, the Hermit, Virgo energy, and then the Nine of Cups, which is the wish. This is really fabulous. Listen, this looks like uh, <laughs> there's a miracle waiting just around the corner for you, literally. The next step ahead is kind of the wish fulfillment. Um, the month of July can be really significant for you. There could be some type of celebration, some type of milestone happening. I don't know why I'm hearing July, but I feel like um, the month ahead, the next four to five weeks ahead are going to be really important. And this is nine, nine. So this tells me that you're almost there. Number nine is always so overwhelming because we're almost to the 10. We're about to finally close an important chapter, enter a new one. And in that case, it's life changing. It's something that you've been wishing for, hoping for. You could be really stressed in the present moment about it, asking yourself, uh, am I going to make it? Am I going to be okay? Um, you could be looking for answers when it comes to, is this thing that I'm doing, is, is it going to work? Again, I feel like it could be in the month. It's like the last stretch for you. So this is really exciting. The road to get to that wish is never easy. But now you're so close to that period of relief. Let's see what the tarot has to say about that. The Hermit is a lot about, of course, it's your card, but it's so much more than that. The Hermit is about the present moment and accepting that we can only take a little step. We, we have to learn how to be patient, obviously. I think that you're definitely really excited about this next step, about what's coming up for you. You're ready for the next chapter. But... Again, it feels like there's some type of miracle just around the corner waiting for you. And it, that's coming up really strongly for me. And we have the lovers, the knight of swords, and the eight of cups. This is beautiful. This is a life-changing year for you. This is a year that is so significant and important for you, Virgo. I, I keep on repeating that in any reading. The lover's card is the card of this year. 2022 is six in numerology and the lovers is the card of this year. And I definitely feel like 2022 is a year you'll remember for stepping in your power, for leaving something behind, leaving this era of your life that was okay. It was beautiful. It brought you a lot of beauty, a lot of um, experiences but there's something so much better waiting for you and with the knight of swords there's something about the way you move something about how you travel how your body moves in the world um and the connection with the mind also i think that right now again you could be a little bit anxious about this final step this final uh challenge quote unquote let's say that's coming up for you um, and my throat is acting up. So there's something about the word challenge here that might be really important. Um, it's a challenge for you. It's kind of a personal battle and you can't wait for it to be over. The Eight of Cups is another confirmation that the road to get there is not easy. Nothing was handed to you, Virgo. This is not about luck. It's about the luck you created. You've been pushing hard to get to this nine of cups. You have a wish. You have a goal. And trust me, this is going to be successful. Reaching such an important goal. And it's, it's going to feel like a miracle because it's going to be changing your life completely. The way you move in the world, the way you do things. 
Um, this is actually really important. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. We go from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. I told you, you're so close to this change. For some reason, I'm feeling end of June or July. Really important. This is something that you want so much. You think about that constantly. You dream about it. You fantasize about it. You can picture yourself finally free. Finally celebrating you... Um, killing it in this quote-unquote challenge again there's something about the word challenge that feels really important here challenging yourself challenging your mind you could have to study for something you could have to practice for something or be really patient you will be enjoying the fruits of your labor you're gonna feel like your true authentic self more than ever before when you finally reach this thing that you've been desiring so much for some of you, it can be love. I don't think this is a love reading. I definitely feel like this is about a personal challenge. And even if people are like, you're going to be okay, everything is going to be fine, you don't want to hear it. It has to come from you, Virgo. It has to come from you. You're not someone who gets influence by other people. And this is something I love about you, but sometimes it can be, uh, it can become a problem. You never want to compare your journey to other. You don't want to um, hear it when people say that everything's going to be fine. You're like, let me see this myself. Let me go through this myself. I don't know right now if everything's going to be fine. And I'm kind of planning for any situation, any outcome to happen. It's okay. You're definitely prepared. You're prepared big time. Three of Swords, Page of Wands. Yeah, this is just the beginning of something. And I feel like you're putting so much pressure on yourself. I don't think it's other people that pressure you. I think that you know how to pressure yourself enough. And you might feel like if you fail at this or if you don't get this thing that you want so much that you work so hard for, you might be telling yourself, I'm going to be so disappointed. I'm going to be so mad, so pissed off. Um, it's okay. It's okay. And I feel like sometimes you might be focusing more on the negative outcome and what could be happening because you want to prepare yourself. You want to make sure there's no surprises. I don't think there's going to be any bad surprises happening. I definitely feel like you're going to be reassured. You're going to be reassured that there's nothing anyone can do, not even a partner, not even your best friend, uh, you know, your favorite family member. No one can stop your mind from going a thousand miles an hour right now. And we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. You don't want to move slow right now. You want this to be done and over. You're so ready for this freedom, for this um, cycle to end. Like I said, there's so much evolution here. There's so much beautiful evolution. We have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. There's like this journey hasn't been easy for a go. And you're not one to complain, really. Um, I feel like even in moments where you complain or you feel negative, you still push through. And this is something that is just so beautiful in you guys. What I love in Virgos, you guys push through. You always do what you're supposed to do. You always do what you're supposed to do. And this is another confirmation that... You're making it big again. And there's something that feels even better than the best outcome you kind of prepared for. Uh, another 10 here. This is definitely, and I know it sounds cheesy, this is the beginning of the rest of your life. We have three 10s here. And I've been talking about this new energy, this new era for you. This is it. This is it. You're going to feel 
so free, more free than you've ever felt before. There could be um, traveling involved. Again, with the two nights here, I feel like there could be movement happening, uh, like physically leaving a place, physically travel from a place to another. But there's this energy of feeling free, of feeling like you made it. And I feel there's there's something incredibly beautiful about that. Let's dive deeper. I want to know more about what comes after all the tens. Ten of cups, ten of pentacles, ten of wands. Ten is going to be a really important number for you in the week ahead. So make sure that you notice when the number ten comes up for you. Devil. You know how much I love the devil. The devil card is just so special. And this is Capricorn energy. It's an energy you're really comfortable with. And seeing it in the upright to me is nothing alarming. It's so beautiful. It's about knowing that you deserve pleasure. You want to have fun. There's going to be a lot of celebration after something is finally done. A lot of celebration. What do we have here? We have the Two of Swords and the High Priestess. So listen to your gut feeling and see my throat is acting up. There's definitely something here about your intuition that needs to be addressed. I think that you're trying to predict something. You're definitely trying to um, ask for signs. If you use the tarot, maybe that could be it. But there's something here you're trying to predict what's going to be happening. You don't want any surprises. You don't want to be surprises. You want to know. You definitely want to know. And with the Six of Pentacles, this is beautiful. The energy you've been putting in something, the time, maybe the money, everything you've been putting into something, it's going to be coming back to you. This is going to be so worth it. All the effort and the stress and sometimes the frustration and having this impatient feeling. This is all going to be worth it. We have the nine of pentacles here as center energy. This is you. This is Virgo energy at its best with the hermit. This is like, again, you living your true purpose, enjoying the fruits of your labor and feeling like everything was so worth it. You're going to see this as a miracle. I told you there's a miracle around the corner, but nothing is handed to you. You've worked for that, but it's definitely going to feel like a miracle. And I feel like that's why the high priestess is here with the two of swords. And we have the lovers again and the ace of wands. I told you this is definitely some type of fiery new beginning. This is when I say the word miracle, this card comes up a lot. A lot in my personal practice when I do readings here, there's something about that. Um, you could also be in a committed relationship and enjoying the celebration with a loved one. If you are single, uh, this could be a fiery new beginning in love. Definitely. Virgo, I know I haven't posted a love reading for you in ages. And someone pointing that uh, pointed that to me, sorry, recently, a Virgo subscriber. And I was like, uh, I haven't noticed that. And I look back and it's been so long. So I promise you, I'm going to be working on a love reading for the ones who are looking for guidance there. But with the Ace of Wands and the Lover's card two times, there's definitely something that is moving really fast with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse here. Uh, again, if you are single or if you are seeing someone wanting to get to the next level, I definitely feel like things could be evolving pretty fast. It feels like these cards are more connected to what comes after all the tens. This fiery new beginning, this, this exciting new beginning. This is like a green light for me. I say this all the time and I told you there's something about transportation, about the way that you move in the world. And with the Ace of Wands, this is like green light. Yes, go for it. This is freedom. This is infinite possibility. 
And I definitely feel like this thing you're achieving is giving you so much more confidence in you, in your abilities, um, in the future, giving you more, um, getting you more excited for the future. You're going to be so happy that everything went smoothly. You're going to be incredibly proud of yourself. And again, you're going to feel like this is a miracle. Because again, I definitely feel like you've been you've been trying to predict like the worst outcome possible just so you're not disappointed, just not so you're not surprised. No bad surprise coming up for you justice and the knight of swords again so there's something there's something powerful here i feel about your mind controlling you right now uh it might be really hard to listen to this quiet voice the intuition here the high priestess two of swords um eight of cups nine of cups um i feel like there's something calling you to quiet the voice of the ego and the brain a little bit. You're, you could definitely be stressed and overwhelmed about something. And I, I think you're keeping that for yourself. The more you can. There's definitely something, some type of battle that you're going through alone. And we have a third night coming up. This is important. Again, the horse... The vessel, it's like how we move in the world. There's something important about that. And with the justice card, this is another confirmation. With the six of pentacles, you know, the scale, anything you've been putting in the universe, your time, investment, energy, whatever it is, it's coming back to you in a really positive way. Again, you're asked to be patient. This is not something that you can force and I don't think that you can choose when you're going to be finally ending the cycle. I feel like it could be connected to justice or the government or something. It's like you are not the one deciding a date or the day that you're going to be um, having to face something. It could be some type of exam. It could be some type of... Um, Signing papers, finally releasing something. Again, there's a cycle that's ending. That, that's pretty clear seeing the cards with all the th tens and the nines here. Um, but again, you're not the one in control. And that's why your mind is all over the place. Because the universe or whatever it is, is asking you to let go of wanting control. Of being in control just for a little while just for this to be done with you have to accept that you don't have control over decision making again if there's something about the government papers uh, an exam or something that you have to do um you have to accept that you don't have control over the dates the time and the outcome all you can do is try to trust knowing that you have everything it takes you have the ability, that you are talented enough, that you have everything you need for this to work. So there's definitely an invitation here coming up strongly for me about how can you be more present? The Hermit is a lot about being present, knowing that we can't control the future. We can't change anything about the past. We can only see where our lantern guides us, which is the next step ahead. And this is really important. This is you, Virgo. So a lot of acceptance here when it comes to timing, the rhythm of um, what's in store for you. But the outcome is going to be incredibly positive. Trust me, it's a life-changing outcome. Um, and what you feel right now, and especially if you've been anxious, listen, you're going to be looking back at this time and say, oh, why was I so stressed? I should have trusted more. I should have listened a little bit more. Because, yeah, this is a life-changing time. But when it's over, you're not looking back. It's going to be done with. 
you're not going to be looking back and you're going to be out of the stressful time. We have familiar. Okay. This is the same card that Capricorn had. If you have Capricorn in your chart, definitely watch the Capricorn reading. With this card, listen and learn. How can you listen a little bit more to the quiet voice of your intuition and not let the brain take over so much? And that for you, Virgo, is one of the hardest things to do. It's so much easier said than done when I say, you know, let the brain talk and focus on your soul, your intuition. This is not easy for you. Your brain always go a thousand miles an hour. And this is one of your strengths. But sometimes it can be um, frustrating. It definitely can be frustrating when you have to be patient or accept that you can't control what's coming up. Prosperity lies ahead and step out of your comfort zone in the reverse came out also this is going to be such a positive outcome it's going to be even better than you can imagine so try to trust a little bit more try to let it come as it wants to come and seeing step out of your comfort zone uh, in the reverse, again, this is a confirmation that you have everything aligned for this to work in your favor. Yes, it might be moving slow. It might be overwhelming and you might be in your head constantly about it. But I can guarantee you that the outcome is going to be incredibly positive. OK, it's going to feel like a miracle. Hold on to that. Thank you so much for being here, Virgo. Take exquisite care of yourself, and I can't wait to speak with you again. I will work on a love reading for anyone who has love-related questions because, yeah, I, I haven't done a Virgo love reading in a really long time. So I know it's not um, all of you who wants a love reading, but for the ones who need it, it's going to be coming out soon. So take care, Virgo. Bye-bye.